Hello, and welcome to Popcorn News. Something to watch while you eat popcorn. We are entering phase two of production for destruction. This was reported yesterday by Popcorn News. A farmer, let us say, decides he's going to grow fruits and vegetables. He also has some cows, which produce milk for sale. But then the farmer sees that the prevailing prices are too low to make harvesting the crop worthwhile. And so he decides to just let the crop rot in the field. It has been production for destruction. Later, on the same day that Popcorn News had reported upon the Phase 2, that same day in the evening, President Barack Obama took to national television and told the nation, we have entered a new phase. In an address from the Oval Office, Mr. Obama said that the threat of terrorism to the United States has entered a new phase. Phase is the key word here, as in phase two of production for destruction. The Federal Reserve has failed to defeat the Great Recession. In the United States, after seven years of near zero interest rates, eight million persons remain unemployed. That number is comparable to the number of unemployed during the Great Depression of the 1930s. In the 1930s, the farmers began dumping milk. That dumping of milk was an early sign of production for destruction. Not just farmers, but the administration of Franklin Delano Roosevelt also began implementing production for destruction type policies. The prices had to be kept at a certain level. An oversupply of goods inclined prices to fall below the key support level. When that happened, it was no longer profitable for producers to produce. Production stopped and unemployment rose. In yesterday's local newspaper, an Associated Press agriculture report appeared. Demand for loans surges amid low prices. The nation's net farm income is the lowest since 2002. There has been another year of low commodity prices. Crop prices are not high enough for farmers even to get paid for their own labor, reports Associated Press. So what's next? Do the farmers start dumping milk and letting crops rot in the fields? so that prices can climb back up? And these ultra-low commodity prices 
have happened in spite of the Federal Reserve ultra-low interest rates. The Fed has failed to defeat the Great Recession. Just as in the 1930s, the Fed failed to defeat the Great Depression. At the end of the 1930s and early in the 1940s, a new phase began. Phase two of production for destruction. Bombs are the acme of production for destruction because the bombs destroy themselves and new bombs must keep being made. Production continues and jobs are the benefit. An enemy for all this phase two is just an afterthought. Most any enemy will do. Allow me to clue you to a few rude awakenings. For those of you that think Canada is a mom and pop operation, it's time to wake up and smell the snow. Fact, Canada is now the second largest country in the world. Fact. Canadians freely cross over our borders, walking among us undetected. How many of you knew that they eliminated the Miss Canada contest? I think you're on to something here, Smiley. Remember the Air Force C-130 that crashed mysteriously a few years ago? Yesterday morning, Popcorn News announced that phase two of production for destruction had begun. That same evening, President Obama announced that we have entered a new phase. Thank you for watching Popcorn News.